What's up, guys? It's about 20 minutes before my test right now. I'm done studying. I was watching Dr. Hot Yield this morning. Pretty much just trying to relax and trying to like chill out a little bit before I take my test. Mark is surfing right now. Everyone is charging. Like the waves are really good, but I'm just trying to stay mellow, trying to stay focused on what I had to do during the test. And then, yeah, hopefully I'll be meeting up with Ali, Dupkin, maybe B. Faye, maybe some of the boys and catch some waves this afternoon. Right now, all I'm thinking about is just taking this test and succeeding. All right, guys, I just finished my test and it was super hard because my iPad's cracked and right here where the timer was is where the crack was and I couldn't read the time. I'm just hitting entering. The, the test is complete. I'm pretty sure it uploaded. I'm just like making sure right now. But um, yeah, so like with this swell, I had to like just calm myself down because like I was hearing like readings of like seven feet at 18 seconds or like something crazy that would produce like 30 foot waves, you know somewhere else but i wasn't able to travel for this because i have a test and i've got my cousin's wedding tomorrow but i'm gonna surf at home uh there's been so much hype like september these swells get so hyped everyone's in the water they're super crowded so i'm keeping my expectations low just because i can't make it the trip of a lifetime right now uh all right i'm gonna go uh get ready to surf kind of totally switching my mindset from like just studying and like trying to be prepared and uh now i gotta get everything in the car put my fins in, find my surfboards, find Allie, find the boys, and maybe get a few waves. Guys, I cannot get over this weather and the foliage. Like, I just love seeing the freaking leaves on the ground and the trees and everything. I just love it so much. This is the quiver I'm rocking with, 6'7 Witcher and 7'10 Gun. You guys haven't seen the 7'10 Gun uh, in a long time because it's been in the shop. It was left up in New England for a while to get repaired. And then also, the 6.7, which you guys know is the workhorse. It's got its new beautiful freaking flames on it by uh, McPease. Super stoked. That board worked so sick during the last swell. Um, Hurricane Earl like rode this board at the slabs and I was so pumped to ride it at the slabs because it needs a super hollow wave. It's got such pinched rails and such um, high rocker that it fit, it'll fit like really well into the slabs and then it paddles well too because it's three and a quarter so that's the board's strengths and if it's pumping hard offshore barrels right now on the beach that's definitely what, what i want to ride i gotta go grab these because they're about to fly away with this crazy wind and right now we got the beautiful open road ahead of me and my commute is only like 15 minutes which i'm just so psyched for my life goal is to like live by the beach i want to live in the lineup I want to live so close to the water that I don't even have to think about logistics. Like, I just want there to be waves and go surf. Oh, look who it is! What's up, dog? Let go! How are you? Do you like her? Yeah, this is... Wait, whose car is this? This is mine. You have a car? <laughs> this is the only thing that's been keeping me What is it, though? Is, whose car is this? It's an Acura. It's bombing. We're driving down the beach right now trying to find a good spot. Like, look at this peak right here. This is not even a big one. Look at that. That looks super fun, but uh, yeah, it's the hard offshore wind is what we want. So the swell's to way, like I said before, the swell's way too long period. It's dragging on the bottom. Look at this wave, look at this wave. That's like head high, it should be like triple overhead. But whatever, it's what we got. This guy's going out right this here. This guy's going out. Allie, Allie, look at this. Okay, my bad. Look at that right there. Okay. That thing right now went all the way out there. Okay. That's what I'm gonna try to get. Okay. Alright, we're gonna walk down and try to pile on, okay? See ya. Wah, wah, wah. absolutely humbled out there. 
No, I'll, I'll swim with you though. Uh, I'm super tired. I just spent like an hour, an hour plus, like just getting frothed around in there. Uh, I was just seeing this like giant left working out at sea, like this perfect sick left, but it just wasn't doing it. Like, uh, or it was doing it, but I just couldn't like get near it, get onto it. Like, I'm at 710. I think I did it like a 1210. But yeah, like, you can probably see it just exploding behind me right now. There's like such good waves, but uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to stay as close to home as possible. And uh, it's just fancy. God, look at this wave. Look at this wave, dude. Look at this wave. Dude. Oh, and he's just snapped. Oh no, is so, he out there? Dude, he's all the way out there. I just wanted to like get good waves at home because I've been putting, putting in so much work, like driving and stuff. But this was kind of the one to travel for and I just couldn't do it. Like with freaking my test, there's still some time left in the day. So I'm hoping it turns around. I'm hoping we can find somewhere that's good. But uh, I should have known this beach. I ended up meeting up with Steven Clossy. We headed to a spot that we knew would be good, but we also knew it would be so crowded and it would be high tide. But either way, I was determined to sit out there and I just kept telling myself, your wave will come. Sit out here as long as it takes. Your wave will come. Just hang out here and eventually you'll be in position. Yeah, look at this side, look at this side, look at this side. I'll see you. Look at the yellow guy again. So obviously I took off backside on this wave. I couldn't see, I was going into the sun and there was like a thousand people in front of me. It just looked like you could walk across the back of everybody's wetsuit. It was so thick. So I just kind of faded and gave up on the wave. I was like, I'm not gonna try and make this wave and run over a bunch of people and like injure somebody. But someone was paddling, you know, towards the shoulder. What you're really supposed to do here is paddle towards the whitewash. And what you're absolutely not supposed to do is duck dive your board. So, you know, maybe this is just the worst scenario because I shouldn't have paddled out into a super crowded lineup. But I really sat there for like two hours waiting for this wave, sitting all the way outside. I knew where it was going to break, but, you know, I just got, I slipped on the takeoff and I was just feeling a little weird. So I held the rail and I managed to like make the drop. But, you know, I was looking into the sun. There's people everywhere and I just couldn't make the wave. Um... The good news was no one was hurt. I was really worried that I'd run someone over. Our boards collided a little bit, but yeah, I can't stress it enough. I was just psyched no one got hurt. I paddled back to the peak, and I was waiting there for a while, and then I just gave up. Said it wasn't worth it. On this right you see here, I actually took off super deep. I was sitting all the way outside, and this one came in, but it kind of pushed me all the way towards the beach. And eventually, I caught it, and I thought it was going to close out. But as you see by this image captured by OC Photo 91 probably could have made this barrel if I just pumped like crazy and committed. So learn something for next well. If you get on a right and it's an epic day, just hang on the wave. Don't give up on it. All right, guys, it was so brutal today. Like I went from the spot where there was no one out and the waves were like super difficult and far from perfect and just so much water moving to the spot where like there was a ton of lulls, you know, easy paddle out and perfect waves breaking right off the beach for just like 300 dudes in the water. So I really did not get any waves. I got, I got off on one left set wave and like I was literally on my back end about to run a guy over and I just jumped off and like not good. So I just like called it quits. I literally paddled to the beach for my first time ever. I paddled all the way in. Uh, just saw Danny. So uh, there's hope that we could go find a little session.
and I just underperformed and I failed. Like big, big failure for Fiona today. Um, the waves were sick. Like the waves were good. I just made bad decisions. A lot of chasing swells is uh, making decisions, and I didn't make good decisions today. But the one thing that is keeping me is that Danny and I are headed to Moe's, so I'm just gonna binge a giant burrito because I'm so hungry, and that it's fall. Like I just love fall. I love the, the crisp breeze. I love the cool winds. Uh, the water's still warm. Like I am, I'm in a good mood, even though I like had the worst day of surfing in hurricane history. Uh, fall and Moe's are keeping me happy.